In this video, we're going to calculate the volume of cubes and cuboids. So I have a cube and a cuboid. But I want to link this to the previous lessons on perimeter of an area. When we looked at perimeter, it was about going around a 2D shape like that. So if that was the plan of the room, we'd be talking about things like skirting boards that we'd need to put just around on the rim. So if I take a measuring tape or a piece of string and go around, it's going to look like this in the end. So we measure it in centimetres or metres because it's just the length. Whereas if I want to put, to cover this, maybe with wrapping paper or when it comes to a room, I want to put carpet in, then I'm actually looking at the whole surface area. So that's counted or worked out in squares. So this would be centimetre squares or metre squared. And you see it too at the top, which is just that we're looking at two dimensions. We're looking at the length and the width. We're multiplying them and that gives us the two. When it comes to volume, we're not looking at the flat 2D shape any longer. We're looking at the 3D shape, three dimensions. So that's the length and the width, but we're considering the depth as well. How deep or how high it is. So I had, I worked this out and it was nine on the surface area, but there are three layers of it. So that's just one layer, nine, but I've got another layer here to make another nine, another layer at the top to make another nine. So that's nine and nine and nine all together. So that is 27. And how do I write that? What unit do I use? That's centimeter cubed because we are looking at three dimensions. So we've got the length and the width that we all already use when we work out the surface area that gave us nine. And we looked at the depth as well, how many layers are on top of each other. So that's three, one, two, three of them. And it can be expressed in meter cubed, kilometer cubed, and so on. So when it came to volume, we're looking at three dimensions. So It looks something like this. So I already said this was 27 centimeters cubed because I'd already worked out the area before, the surface area of the square, any of them, because it's a cube and it doesn't matter. So I'd worked it out before and that gave me nine. And then I said, oh, okay, there is one layer, there's two and three. So nine lots of three or three lots of nine. And that gave me 27. But I could also say, okay, when you work out the surface area, what I do is three times three. That's how I worked it out. That's what I did here as well. So three times three times three as well. So I could say three times three times three. So I am taking account of all three of the dimensions. I'm taking account of the length, the width and the height. So three times three times three equals 27 centimeters cubed. Or well, the other way was to have the surface area, which was nine times three, and that's again 27 centimeters cubed. We'll now look at the cuboid. So let's use both of the methods. Let's work out a surface area first, either this one or this, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four at the bottom, which is two times two. So that's the surface area of one of the faces. So that's four. 
now that's the layer at the bottom but i've got one two three four more so it's five in total so four times five or five times four gives me 20 centimeters cubed because these are centimeter long and the other way would be okay so the three dimensions length width and height so length is two width is two height is five so two times two times five that makes 20 again 20 centimeters cubed because we're looking at the three dimensions as i said and we're looking at how many cubes fit in there so what a volume gives us is how much space an object takes or how many smaller items you can fit and those smaller items are cubic centimeters or cubic meters depending on how big the object is so if i'm given a cube like this and i've got information that this is four meters this is five meters and this is three meters so the length four the width five and the height or the depth three meters so to work out the volume this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be working out this four times five times three so four times five is 20 times three is 60 60 meters cubed don't forget it's three of them the three dimensions and we're fitting in cubes inside we're imagining cubes to be fitted in now one more if we have a cuboid again and let's say this is two kilometers this is eight kilometers and this is three kilometers so we're going to go two times three times eight so order does not matter as long as we take into account all three of them so two times three is six times eight 48 it's 48 kilometers cubed So we've just looked at how to calculate the volume of cubes and cuboids and again when it's clear how many cubes go into the shape you just multiply or count them and it was length times width times height. However in some other questions you might be asked how many of these smaller items fit in a bigger item and uh, to illustrate I've got some boxes in here so real life a box of dominoes how many dominoes would fit in there or this other plastic box and I've got some centimeter cubes that I'll try and fit in there now in this case I would not encourage you to go and measure the length width and height and multiply them together and try and fit in as many centimeter cubes so that might work but might not work as well and i'll explain why i would rather try and fit in as many as i can of these along the length the width and the height because there could be some space left but not enough to fit in extra cubes so we'll look at what that means so if you look closely there is some space left there but i can't fit a cube so if i calculated that in or take took it into account 
when working out volume it could give me a bigger answer but it doesn't mean I can fit more cubes in so again same thing with the width there is more space there left but I can't fit another one so we'll try and see how many it fit along the height so if I close the box yes I can close it and I can't fit any more of them at the top so what do I do at this point so I've laid them out and if I haven't got a real box it'd be a case of marking the picture the drawing that you have in the question so there we go we've got one two three four five six along the length we've got one two three four along the width and two along the height so now what I can do is I can multiply that six by four by two so that means I've got six along the length and then four so if I try to fill this in at the bottom layer there would be 24 cubes because six times four or four times six gives me 24 but I can fit as we said another layer on top so 24 and the 24 makes 48 so the number of cubes that we can fit in is 48 and this would answer your question correctly rather than if you worked out the volume of the box and the volume of the cube and divided the volume of the box by the volume of the cube because of the spaces that could be left and which can not be enough to fit in extra boxes so if I'm given a question like this on paper I would supposedly have a drawing or if there isn't a drawing then I would draw try and draw the box myself so a cuboid or a cube depending on the question so if it's exactly like this then we I would say try and measure it or if it given the measurement to me then I'm going to try and fit as many as I can so if this is 6.3 centimeters and I'm told that the cubes are centimeter cubes I'll go and try and fit them in one two three four five six so there is some space left so that's the only thing that I need to consider. How many of them would fit exactly if we ask to fit in boxes in there and not the volume. So that's the one. And then if this is, let's say, 2.4, I can only fit two of them. So there would be some extra space in there. But I don't need to consider that when it came when it comes to the number of boxes that can be fitted. And if this is 2.5, I've got only two in there. So I've got how many boxes can I fit along the length? That's six. How many can I fit along the width? That's two. Um, how many, in actual fact, we had four on along the width. So we'll use the example we had. So that's four. And how many can use along the height that was two so then you go six times four is 24 times two is 48 48 cubes so notice the difference between working out the volume because if i'm just given a box and i'm asked work out the volume of this cuboid then i would multiply The dimensions so I'd go 6.3 times 4.3 times 2.4 and I'd write my answer in centimeter cubes actually we can try and do that now so 6.3 times 2.4 times 
that is sixty five point zero one six centimeters cubed centimeter cubed um or cubic centimeters or centimeters cubed so i did six point three times 4.3 times 2.4 and that gave me this answer so that's the volume and let's show now what that means if i divided this by the volume of the small cubes so the small the volume of the small cubes is actually one because they one centimeter cube so one times one times one gives me one so if I divided this volume of the big box by the volume of each cube which is just one that would have I'd have 65 cubes presumably fit in in but was that the case when we looked at them when we tried to fit them was that the case because here we counting or we're taking into account the gaps as well the small gaps along the length along the width if you remember these small gaps now the adding up and creating this extra volume which when it comes to fitting in boxes doesn't really work so it's really paying attention to the question if you're asked to work out the volume by all means just multiply length times width times height or area times the height but if you are to work out how many of the smaller items into the bigger ones take it in steps and find how many fit along the length how many along the width and how many along the height